making search on your phone easier. That's what we're talking about today. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. I've talked to you in the past about Google Lens and how it allows you to perform a search from the environment. I'll link to post in the body of the blog post that will take you to what I've written about in Google Lens. But first, I want to show you something called Circle to Search. It appeared about a year ago on the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro, as well as on the Samsung Galaxy S24. And now it's available on about 75 different models of Android. There's a parallel on the iPhone, and I'm going to put some information in the body of this blog post. But for demonstration purposes, I'll be using my Android. When I'm on a web page on my phone, I may want to know more about an image or some text. Now, normally we would highlight the text and paste it in a Google search. But here's what I can do with circle to search. It allows me to take my finger and circle the text or image. So to start, I'm going to long press the home button at the bottom of the screen. That action triggers the search mode. Then I use my finger to draw a circle around anything on the screen. I see the results of a search without ever having to leave the page. If I circle text, I also have the option to copy the circle text or translate that text to another language. So how might you use circle to search? Well, first is shopping. You see the perfect article of clothing or gift idea. Exactly what's it called and uh, where do you get it? How much is it? Well, hold the home button for just a moment and circle. There's your answer. Planning a trip and you see a picture of a landmark? Well, circle it to find out exactly what it is and where it's located. See several options of a great place to eat? There's no need to leave the page to search for each one. Circle one of the options and you see plenty of information about the location, the menu, customer reviews. Exit the search and you're still on the original page. Circle another option to make your comparison. In a few seconds, you've made your decision on a place to eat. Unsure of what a word means? Circle it, and you'll probably learn more about the word than you need. You can go deeper. As you view your results, feel free to tap the microphone icon to ask a clarifying question. Again, if you're an iPhone user, check the body of the blog post for a similar way to search. Like any other skill, you'll want to practice this before you actually need it. While you're thinking about it, add Explore Circle to Search to your task list and add a link to this episode in the task. That way, you can review the instructions as you try it on your own. Now, earlier I talked about Google Lens. You can now use your voice to ask questions or get information about something on your screen. For example, suppose I'm looking at a picture of the Mona Lisa. I could tap on Google Lens and get information about the picture. But what if I had a specific question? Well, while holding the shutter button, ask your question. For example, you could say, why did the author paint this picture? Google Lens returns the answer to that question. Again, the secret to being able to use this technique when you need it is to practice it before you need it. Try it a few times so that it becomes easy. Teach it to a friend because the best way to really learn something is to teach it to somebody else. We live in a world where the world's knowledge is easy to access. The challenge is to spend a little time learning how our tools can help us. If you enjoyed this episode, there's plenty more over on frankbuck.org. Join the email list for two free gifts so that you never miss a thing. Thanks for stopping by. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.